Sexual Dimorphism in Birds It is the observable difference between males and females in the same species. First we'll talk about colour dimorphism in plumage and in coloration. This male cape sparrow is more striking in colour with his black head and breast. The female is drab. And this male violet-eared waxbill is brighter than the duller female. And this male southern red bishop is a lot brighter than the drab female. Apparently the females are usually dull in colour for better camouflage when nesting. The male mocking cliff tat has black on his head and breast, whereas the female has grey. The female Namaqua dove has the same grey as the male, but he stands out with his black forehead and throat and breast. Now at a glance these saddle bull stalks look the same, but if you look closer you will see the very subtle difference. The female has a yellow eye and the male's eye is dark and he has yellow wattles at the base of his bill, which are barely visible in this photo. With the cape shoveler, the male is larger and he has a yellow eye. The olive woodpecker male's crown is red and the female has a grey head. In these pied kingfishers, the male has a double breast band. The female has a black bra. Can you spot the male? The more colourful male on the right. And can you spot the male Swee Waxbill? Again, the male on the right with the brighter colours. Some species have no obvious sexual dimorphism, like the larks. These are red capped larks. The sexes are alike, but sometimes the males can be slightly bigger in size. The same with the pipits. These plain back. Pippets look very alike. Then you get size dimorphism, where the males are larger than the females. These are Ludwig's bustards. The male is very obviously larger than the female, and he is puffing up his throat too, as he does in courtship. And this blue crane pair looks similar, but the male is a bit larger, and his voice is lower pitched than the female's. And with the South African shell duck, the male is a lot larger and he also has a grey head, whereas the female has white on her head. And then to throw a spanner in the works, you get reversed size dimorphism, where the females are larger than the males, as in these jackal buzzards. This reversed size dimorphism is common amongst raptors. And it is easy to spot the larger female in this pair of pale chanting goshawks. And you also get sexually dimorphic behaviours between males and females. The male pintailed wider looks very different to the dull drab female and he is well known for his aerial displays and his bossiness at bird feeders. The females are quiet and inconspicuous. Then you get beak size dimorphism, where some birds have a longer beak than their partners, as in these African oyster catchers. The female's beak is longer than the male's. And besides the beak, a close-up of the female's eye, she has a large black spot below her pupil. The male just has a round black pupil. The male African spoonbill has a longer bill than the female. It eliminates competition when they are feeding. And these green woodupus look alike, but the male is a bit larger with a longer bill. And they don't compete for food, as they will forage at different depths, in crevices and in lichen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments you have down below.